pretty chill. Yeah. Look at that bicep, dude. Do her bra like this. Dude, it's actually pretty crazy. I know. Dude, isn't like building muscle crazy? Just like, just building, <laughs> dude, you're literally building your Yo, body. Dude. It's so crazy because you put in like a good amount of time yeah. and all of a sudden things start to just manifest. Dude, and it's right? really interesting how just by changing some habits throughout the day, you'll all of a sudden literally change the way you look, you'll yeah. change the way you feel. Exactly. And like, not only does it change the way you look and feel, but it can like change all different aspects of your everything. life. Like respect, discipline, consistency. Everything. I think one of the most important things is for people to be uncomfortable. Yeah. And when you are, let's say, going for like a new PR, you're going for like a deadlift max, that shit is so like, oh shit, that's hot. It's like, yeah. you're kind of scared because you don't want to get hurt or what if I don't get it? Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like that resistance. Shit, dude. But you yeah. just got to say fuck it sometimes. Exactly. Do it. That's what you definitely have to. Too many people look for comfort. 100%. That's the whole ide- ideology of the cold showers, doing jujitsu, weightlifting, and um, making yourself uncomfortable on purpose. That's what meditation is all about, too. 100%. Dude. Because you, it's very uncomfortable to just sit there with your thoughts as it just races. But when you learn how to actually live with your thoughts, then it is... Easy. That's my problem. Like, I really got to work on meditation. Like, I, yeah, I try definitely. it, but like... Cheers to that, bro. Oh, oh. Bro, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Water everybody. talk number one. Always. So this pretty much, water. this is just me and Ken. We get together, we drink water together, and there's nothing else sketchy that goes on behind exactly. the scenes. It's just water. It's just water. Just two guys so getting hydrated. Two hi- two guys getting hydrated. Exactly. Perfectly, perfectly placed. So. Um, actually, so a lot of the stuff that we're talking about is actually what I'm writing about in my book now. Oh, really? So I'm um, essentially like a year and a half ago, do a quick story. So like a year and a half ago, I was dating this girl mm-hmm. and we broke up and I knew that I need, I was like, is this what life is like about? I feel like these girls are just playing me. Mm-hmm. So I went on like this huge self-improvement journey where I was just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to go and do things that I've always wanted to do. So one of the things on the list was martial arts and I knew that there was that MMA gym and I started going to the MMA gym. Um, I looked up like how to make your, I was like, just things would start coming up on my YouTube on like uh, why cold shower, like what are the benefits of cold showers, why you should meditate, how meditation works and I started to do it and literally it was like this, ever since then it's like this this progressive journey where like after every couple months I realized that whatever work I've been doing, like putting in the cold showers and like doing the meditation, having a routine, writing down things, gratitude journals, uh, to-do lists, all of that has been so important. It literally helped everything. It Dude. helped me progress to everything. Oh, and I want to so. write about all those like habits mm-hmm. in my book so people can see like, okay, well, the, the, the ideology behind the book is to make life easier than it actually is. So obviously going after your goal, going after your dream is an incredibly challenging thing, especially when a dude. lot of the pe- when a lot of people around you are telling you the exact opposite thing. Mm-hmm. They're telling you that you need to do this, you need to go to school, you need to get yeah, a degree. Yeah, you got to go to college, you got to do this, you got to do that. You got to graduate. Yeah, you got to do that. But when you we are all put on this earth for a reason and we exactly. have this purpose, we have this dream of what we would like to do. So I just decided, like, fuck it, I'm gonna start doing those things, and obviously that can be tough, but by making yourself uncomfortable on purpose, mm-hmm. and it, and always having the worst case scenario in mind of things, yeah. it helps you appreciate what you actually get. So every exactly. situation that happens to you could be worse, mm-hmm. way worse than this. So for instance, like, I hate to bring this up, but you failed your personal training test, yep. all right? So that sucks, you failed your personal training test. Mm-hmm. But you could have never signed up for it in the beginning. That's That's true. true. You know, it's all part of like that journey. And plus, maybe I failed for a reason. Maybe I just wasn't ready to train somebody. Maybe I needed to retain more information and carry that over to like actually training people. Yeah. Well, it's definitely also a, uh, it's probably humbling for you to fail it, you know? It was, dude. I was like, holy shit, dude. I act like, I got to take this really seriously, dude. This fucking camera. It's crazy. So, um, I would say, I would also ask you. Was it humbling for you as somebody that is, you know, you're pretty big, you have a lot of size to you, mm-hmm. and when we were all doing like jujitsu, these were a lot of kids that were like smaller than you, and they winded up actually getting the like, positional advantages, choking you. Like, is yeah, it, I feel like Dude, that's really humbling. Yeah, because it really drives home the idea that size isn't everything. Yeah, because like you could have like a guy that's like 250 fucking jacked, and a guy that's 180. The guy that's 180 could still take him down. 
100. If he knows the right moves, he can take him down 100. Yeah, and he understands it, and he's used to it, and he's done it many, many times. And then that's the thing. And then when you have that, being able to defend yourself, you walk around with so much more of a confidence. Yeah, 100. You, you know, I'm, you are not afraid of being close to somebody, mm -hmm. and um, also, you. When you go into this jujitsu class, you see some of the nerdiest people. Really? Right? So jujitsu is actually predominantly a lot of nerds because it's very technical and it's very deep, it's very thorough. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of years to master. It's kind of like a certain math or science. Oh, okay. So a lot of these guys, they come in there, they're already there. Because it's like you have to kind of figure it out on a technological point. How can I off balance my opponent using their own weight? Mm -hmm. And, you know. A lot, of, a lot of people have the idea like, that aren't into, that don't know about fighting, I feel like, are like, oh, if this situation presented itself, I would do this, or I would do yes. that. They don't have that thought of, it's in the moment. You can't just yeah. say, I'm going to do this and that. It's whatever is happening in the situation. Yeah. You have to yeah. be able to think about that logically. Exactly. You probably notice that with other types of martial arts, that like, okay, so if they throw this strike here, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to combo them with the elbow, whatever, mm -hmm. but you never know what the other person's going to do. Exactly. All you can do is is learn moves and patterns and just train and you have to go live with people spar with people roll with people that's it's about breaking that barrier yeah because like exactly. it, like it's at first sparring with people you're like holy shit this is like a real situation but like you said make yourself uncomfortable you got to break that barrier then you get and used to it. to it exactly and then, and then it just then becomes get, second nature yeah then you get used to it you get used to being uncomfortable so now when you want to go and take a certain risk whether it's in business and life you want to go and talk to that girl that guy whatever floats your boat mm -hmm. you're not afraid to do those things because you constantly put yourself through uncomfort all right yeah, exactly you've already done the groundwork and that's kind of like where this whole self-improvement thing is mm -hmm. i started doing the meditation the cold showers and uh, the martial art in order to get that groundwork in like gain my own confidence the idea is you have to respect yourself yeah and you have to be confident in your own skills mm -hmm. you know 100 percent, dude you gotta invest in yourself yeah you really have to because so many people gotta stay hydrated guys. stay hydrated yo keep drinking I'm not um, so many people like are just running around doing so many things they never take time for them their self and just yeah. focus on what's where am i headed what are my goals what do I want to do? They never, people don't ask themselves questions. They just do, they just go. They just go and they just they follow other people's advice blindly. And the mm -hmm. thing is, is that especially in this generation now, it's incredibly different than what it was. Parents don't understand that. Yeah. They don't, and it. Because they didn't grow up with it. They and rightfully up. so, I was about yeah. to say, rightfully so. They don't, they haven't grown up with this. So they don't understand like, the power of the phone, power of social media, it what can be the game. done. Yeah, they don't understand that college is not really the way to go anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, can you go to college if you want to and you want to succeed? Yeah, of course. I do, but honestly, every single year that goes by, I see college dying more and more. I see yeah. more and more people going on, taking advantages of being able to make a website for 20 bucks a month, being able to post on Instagram for free, free exposure, posting on Facebook for free. Exactly. There's all these different softwares that are out more than ever because people just have ideas, they go with it. And the cool thing is, is that most of the time when you push your idea, mm -hmm. it will most likely help other people create that community. You'll also start to help yourself. Let's say you come up with a really good idea for like a product or a service and you decide to try to sell it online. Mm -hmm. Well, you're helping out a lot of people, you're making a living, doing what you like to do exactly what's wrong with that exactly there's nothing wrong with not going to college and like in our society that thought of like going to college going to college is so prevalent in our society and like the question i get the most is like oh what are you majoring in what college are you going to and it's like college isn't a bad thing i'm not trying to say college is a bad thing because it's not if you want to be a doctor or you want to be something that requires you have a degree in that field then very go interesting for it. But if you want to follow your dreams and your dreams don't necessarily align with going to college, then just do it. You know, you never know what somebody's capable of. Absolutely. You don't even know what yourself is capable of until you put yourself through that uncomfortable situation. So very interesting how you talk about the medical field and that. It seems that one of the only useful things to get out of college yeah. in the medical field. Now, here's the messed up part. The medical field has literally been created to hold its employees in that field. Oh, so Constantly. you can't advance? No, not that. But it's that doctors, nurses, medical assistants, people that do like C-sections, people that work in hospitals, they are worked like slaves, yeah, dude. dude. I have it's clients crazy. that work in the hospital, and they will actually work from 6 a.m. to 
10 30 p.m. That's ridiculous. Imagine doing that every single day. It's look, I, if you don't look, that's there's making yourself uncomfortable, and then there's just pure like wasting your time. I just can't even imagine that. Yeah. Working those hours. Imagine that every single day. That's literally the fucking definition of torture. Dude, I would I would hate my life. Because you need time for yourself. Yeah. You really think do. about what like what we do with our weight training and how much you really appreciate when you go. Dude, going to the gym is awesome. Yeah, dude, I feel, it literally changed it my life. It blows my mind how people don't. Work right, out. dude? Like I don't want to hate on anybody's lifestyle because that's their lifestyle is their choice. But like people that don't really exercise, like they need to like, once they get into it, they'll love it. Yeah. It's, it's all about getting into it. Well, the power of habit is incredibly, is incredibly fascinating. So I, I don't know if um, you read books or ever heard of the book called The Power of Habit. I have. I've okay. never read it, but okay. I have. Okay. So I read the book and it's a very, very good book. So Power of Habit talks about what exactly is a habit. Why do we do the things we do? And when you learn about it, it's essentially you learn that humans are pretty much fucking automated like machines. Yeah, dude. And they're very complex. And in a way, everything's connected. It's so, it's just, that's kind of like the way of going it. But anyway, essentially what a habit is, is let's just give a habit, like a routine, like going to the gym, right? Mm-hmm. There's a cue. And there's a reward for a routine. So there's a cue for a routine, and then you gain a reward out of that. So for working out, let's say for you, the cue is work ends because well, we work at the gym. He works at the gym up until like, you, don't you work the mid a lot? Yeah, I usually work mid like one to six. Okay, so now your cue is getting out of work, and now you're going to work out. That's yeah, exactly. Kind of where your routine lies, and that reward is most likely going to be that really good feeling after. You work out, yeah, or work if out. you show the camera that. Bro. Oh like, yeah, dude. Halal. The reward could be halal, which is all day. That's the combo. Of, what is it? The combo? Uh, the combo over rice. Combo over rice with white sauce. White sauce. White sauce. Bro. You gotta get the white sauce. Got to, yo. With the barbecue sauce, is mad good. Dude, I didn't get the. Dude, I gotta try that. I didn't. You get didn't get it? Pizza. No, I just got just white dude, sauce. You will not be disappointed. And the cool thing it. about halal is that it's cheap and it's wholesome. Yeah, dude. It's it doesn't healthy, have dude. red forty in it. Yeah, or blue 50. Or any artificial Yellow colors. 6, yellow 7, and the orange and yellow Gatorades. Yeah, dude. Dude, nuts. is it? All right. You're about to, we're about to go off on the fucking biggest tangent right now. But I oh, think yeah. it needs to be said because we just brought it up as a joke. Mm-hmm. 